board the hearse. Ready, face. Forward, march. Ready, fall. Center, face. because, you know, he was missing for so many years. And his mother did, Eliza Weichel, did go over to France on the, on the ship to, to try to find her son's body, but she came back and she didn't, she couldn't find him. They couldn't find him there because he was, uh, I guess, covered with shrapnel and everything that happened after. He was found in 2006 in France where people were looking around with their metal detectors and they found um, that the, the United States Army's remains, you know, my uncles and other. He was in Hawaii, then he came from Hawaii to Philadelphia, then he came from Philadelphia to Monterey City, and there he is now, and now he's gonna go to his final resting place, finally after 92 years. Well, At least he's coming home to his own country and he gave up his life, he's only 28 years old, and, uh, I, I wish his mother was alive now to, to, to know that her son was brought back and buried. A little bit of stuff about the Patriot Guard writers. And what we have is in the back, we have all of the condolences from, from the website that's oh, thank you. as of that time of printing. Hover. A final salute to our departed comrade. Voila. First, I would like to say that I am honored to be the minister in this funeral. And secondly, I would like to say as an American citizen that I feel privileged, as I think all of we citizens of the United States are, for one thing, to live in a country where we are not afraid of our own soldiers, but in fact can honor them with honesty, as we do Private Henry Weichel.
May the hope of God fill you with all joy and peace and understanding and believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Shalah. Amen. Ninety-two years after he lost his life in battle, a Schuylkill County soldier has returned home. WFMZ's Bo Colt now reports on a memorial service for Army Private Henry Weichel. He found himself in battle. And he gave up his life. He's only 28 years old. We're talking over 90 years ago. 
92 years later, on this day, at the Indian Town Gap National Cemetery, Deborah Coleman receives the traditional U.S. flag given to family members of fallen soldiers. I'm so excited and thrilled and it's, it's all different emotions at one time because it's such a shock to me. Coleman's great uncle, Army Private Henry Weigel of Lavelle's Google County, was killed by an artillery round while battling the Germans in France during World War I. With the confusion of war, the grave was lost. Then in 2006, the military got a surprise. A local French resident found the remains by chance with a metal detector. Now, there are no photographs of Army Private Weigel, and his niece Deborah says she didn't even know he existed until the phone call came informing her that his remains were found. However, Weigel's death was headlined in this Mount Carmel paper, dated October 14, 1918. DNA testing identified his remains. And we have to thank those soldiers. Weigel's funeral in Mahanoy City was flooded with fellow veterans. I think we're showing the greatest respect to, Ms. to Comrade Weigel. And people don't realize the sacrifice that we as service members make. And it's just, it's an honor for me to do this for him. Thank you. A sacrifice that has suddenly become very personal for Deborah Coleman. Well, why do you think I'm crying? Because of gratitude, gratitude and gratefulness. Bo Colt now, 69 News. 92 years after he was killed on a battlefield, a Schuylkill County man was brought home for burial. Newswatch Exchange's Bob Reynolds was at today's funeral. The First World War. Nearly 10 million soldiers from a number of nations died. One of those was from Schuylkill County, Private Henry Weichel. After 92 years, his remains were found in France and brought home to Mahanoy City. A military guard watched over his casket. His last living relatives grieved for the uncle they never knew. In 1931, his mother, Eliza Weichel, uh, sailed over to France on the USS Roosevelt to find the remains of her son. And, and she could, they, they couldn't find them. She was 60 years old. So I guess, you know, she was so heartbroken over the loss of her son that she did that. It's uh, quite an amazing honor to have uh, been afforded the opportunity to help out a family who lost somebody so long ago. People here say it's because of soldiers like Henry Weichel that we won the First World War. We are not ruled by someone overseas. No. And we have to thank those soldiers who stood up willing to make the supreme sacrifice the way Henry Weichel did. There was a solemn silence as the casket left the funeral home. I just think it's amazing that after all these years that they could bring this man home. One of those in the escort out of Mahanoy City is a man who traveled three hours to be here. This gentleman was a hero to a degree, uh, to bestow honors to a fallen soldier. There's, there's just no knowledge you can you can put on anything like that. Henry Weichel's final trip didn't end in Mahanoy City. He was buried with full military honors at Fort Indiantown Gap. Bob Reynolds, Newswatch 16, Schuylkill County.